Hey Jam, this is AJ Sparkina. Today I have a very interesting topic of discussion for you on episode 2 of Pillar Room. What is a beta item? What makes it a beta? And what are some of the items commonly mistaken to be beta? Would you believe me if I told you that many beta items are available to buy directly from shops? First of all, I'll tell you what is not a beta, as many jammers have the definitions mixed up. If an item isn't sold in stores anymore, it does not mean it's a beta. Betas can be items that aren't sold in stores anymore, but an item that isn't sold in stores anymore isn't necessarily a beta. An item that was never sold in stores is also not a beta. A beta is any item released in the beta testing period of Animal Jam, commonly referred to as the beta days by many jammers. The beta days started and ended in the year 2010 from July 17th to September 9th. Betas aren't always valuable, as many are still in shops. Examples of betas still available in shops as of December 2015 are tiara, necklace, health bracelets, wings, old hood, and the list goes on. Valuable betas are betas that have not been sold in, in stores since the beta days or have rarely been sold since. Examples of valuable betas include Top Hat, Cammy's Frogs, Rocking Horse, Bubblegum Machine, and many more. Many items that are valuable are commonly mistaken for betas too. They were either sold in shops for a limited time or only available for events such as membership prizes. Instead of just listing, I will explain why these items are commonly mistaken for beta items. 1. The headdress. Yes, the headdress. The headdress was released just two months after the beta days, making it not a beta. It has been sold twice, once in November 2010, and again in November 2011. 2. The rare spike collar. What? This one isn't a beta either, I hear you ask. No, it can't be. The spike collar, as I discussed in Pillar Room Episode 1, was first released as a monthly membership gift in 2011. 3. The Founder's Hat. You're kidding me. This one surprised me too. The Founder's Hat is so close to being a beta that it physically pains me. How close, you ask? Well, the beta days ended on September 9th, 2010. The Founder's Hat was released in September 2010. On the 16th, just seven days after the beta days. Wow. If you have an opinion on this topic or have a discussion topic suggestion, please comment below. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe for more Animal Jam videos.